All right, turning our attention to weather this morning, the State Department is warning Americans to avoid Bermuda as Hurricane Fiona moves through the Atlantic. The storm devastated Puerto Rico, leaving people there without water and power, and it also brought strong winds and heavy rains to the Turks and Caicos Islands. So for more on Fiona's path, it is going to come very close to Bermuda. I'm going to send things over to Marielle, but Fiona is not the only thing we're watching out there in the tropics. No, it's incredibly active out there, but I do want to start with Fiona. Uh, it is moving now north of Turks and Caicos as it continues to move north. It's going to keep its category four status. It's a massive storm here. You can clearly see that eye wall. That is a definition of a strengthening hurricane. We could still see this increase in wind speed, but at the moment, max wind gusts of 160 miles per hour. Now this will continue to move north. Keep that category four status as it gets very close to Bermuda, eventually becoming a tropical low as it moves into eastern Canada over the weekend. But but it misses land. That's the important part. Again, not the only thing we're watching. We now have tropical storm Gaston in the North Atlantic. It doesn't look like it's impacting land, at least not in the latest forecast track. Two tropical waves off of the African coastline that have a low to medium chance of formation. But the one that catches my eye the most is this one just north of South America. This one has a 90% chance of development in the next five days and a lot of models are showing this moving through the Caribbean. What we're looking at now, this is called a spaghetti plot. Every line that you see indicates a different model track. And a lot of these, again, take it through the Caribbean and eventually into the Eastern Gulf. So this is something that we'll be watching, especially middle part of next week. But I'm expecting this to form in the next two to three days. So we'll know more about that once it becomes a bit better defined. Again, the tropics not done just yet. It peaks. The season peaks September 10th, and we are still very much uh, watching the Atlantic this time of the year.